There are people out there teaching that you can be a carnal Christian. To answer this question, we must first define what this word carnal means. The word carnal is translated sarkikos, which literally means fleshly. I take this to mean as a fleshly Christian. The better question is, is there such thing as think of the church at Corinth? If we look at 1 Corinthians 3, Addressing the readers as brethren, a term he used almost exclusively to other Christians. He then goes on to describe them as carnal. There include that Christians can be carnal. First John 1 8 is absolutely clear that no one time we sin, we are acting carnally. Giving in to our fleshly desires and not yielding to the Spirit of God need to understand is that while a Christian can be, for a time, carnal, a for a lifetime. Romans 8 is very clear about this. According to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. According to the Spirit, set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the, set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind of the flesh is hostile to God. For it does not submit to God's law. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Stay in a carnal, fleshly state or spiritually. And can be indwelt with the Holy Spirit. And can lifestyle. The spirit and the flesh don't mix. Only one can truly exist. Come into salvation. The spirit takes up residence in us. In the process of. Maturing in Christ. God's desire in saving us closer to the image of Jesus, becoming increasingly increasingly carnal. We go from brand new babes to young men to fathers. The flesh dies daily and what so to teach that you can be a carnal Christian is not biblical and it's dangerous. Is it true that we'll have sinful moments? Absolutely. But if you're a genuine believer in Christ, these sinful moments are the exception, not the rule. The last thing any of us need to hear is that Christians who live in the flesh.